Great. So let's talk about the questions and answer now. So first point is whenever somebody is asking about your define your project, right? Give your answer in a realistic way. Whatever project you are working, if you give the real details about it, it will look natural. Okay. Now, because the person who is listening to you, right? They are, they don't know about your project, right? Or the product, right? So you have to give the answer in a very simple way, very simple layman language so that anybody can understand it, right? So in your answer, there was something missing uh, about how you are related to Amazon or Shopify or something, right? So the real thing is you have to present your project exactly right. What is your product, right? What it does, right? So let's correct it again, right? So can you explain now in a very simple way that uh, what is your project? What it does? Uh, sir, actually, can I talk in Hindi? Yeah, it's fine. Chalmi, okay. Bolye. Uh, actually, Lekin, yeah. lekin, lekin. Sorry, sorry. Mere stop karne. Main kyunki kuch cheeze yahan confirm karna cha raha hu, right? The thing is, whenever somebody is asking define your project, so define it in just two to three lines, okay? Max five lines. Usse zyada na koi bhi interview viewer jo hai, wo sunna nahi chahta hai aapke project ke baare mein. Frankly, if I'm saying, agar usko kuch acha lagega na aapke project ke baare mein, to khud kuch cross question karega, right? Is everyone fine with Hindi language here? or yes yeah. who who don't understand yes yeah, sir yes yeah, sir great fine theek hai so theek hai aap explain karo in just three in simplest way like how it is connected to amazon and what you are talking about your project okay okay simplest way so uh, actually hamare paas jo seller hai bahut chote 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 hote hain so they don't have a any matlab unke paas koi platform nahi hai use karne ke liye तो हम उनको एक प्रोवाइड कर आ, हमारा प्लेटफॉर्म प्रोवाइड करते हैं थर्ड पार्टी है जो कि हम मल्टीपल चैनल से ऑर्डर्स लेके आते हैं जैसे शॉपिफाई अमेजोन इनसे हम ऑर्डर्स लेके आते हैं और हमने इंटीग्रेट किया हुआ है हमारे ई कार्ड डिलीवरी को तो हम नहीं, सिम... नहीं अभी भी नहीं सॉरी देखिए पहले आप ये बताइए कि आपके क्लाइंट कौन है हमारे क्लाइंट मतलब छोटे छोटे कस्टमर्स है छोटे कस्टमर से नहीं समझ में आएगा देखिए आप ये तो कि छोटे दुकानदार कस्टमर तो कोई भी हो सकता है राइट सो यू शुड से दैट अ गारमेंट बिजनेस ओनर या जनरल स्टोर मेडिकल स्टोर राइट या क्या आप ये कहना चाह रहे हो हाँ यस ठीक है वो आपका प्रोडक्ट यूज करते हैं और उनका जो शॉप उन वो जो प्रोडक्ट बेचना चाहते हैं वो वो समहाउ अमेजोन शॉपिफाई से कनेक्टेड है इज इट करेक्ट यस यस अच्छा ठीक है एक्सप्लेन इट एक्सप्लेन इट गो हेड सो जो हमारे छोटे शॉप शॉप यूज करते हैं जो छोटे स्टोर और होते हैं जिनके पास प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं होता तो वो आ, उनके आ, सामान को छोटे छोटे चा, चा, चैनल्स पे बेचते हैं जैसे कि शॉपिफाई वो वहाँ पे जाके अपना स्टोर खोलते हैं अच्छा। और वहाँ पे अपना सामान बेचते हैं ठीक है अभी सामान बेचने के बाद उनके पास कोई थर्ड पार्टी नहीं होता कि वो अपना सामान जाके लोगों के पास पहुँचाए सो वो हमारे पास आते हैं हम उनको एक सर्विस प्रोवाइड करते हैं जहाँ पे हम उनका उन्हें हम पिकअप एंड ड्रॉप सर्विस देते हैं ठीक है यार लाइक लॉजिस्टिक लॉजिस्टिक बिजनेस पिकअप करके सेलर को सामान भेज देते हैं यस है ना सो वो एक्सप्लेन करना चाहिए था आपको प्रोजेक्ट में ना जब हम ई कॉमर्स बोलते हैं तो ई कॉमर्स बहुत बड़ा डोमेन है ओके लॉजिस्टिक उसमें से एक पार्ट है बस करेक्ट सो अगर आपकी कंपनी व्हाट आई एम एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एज ऑफ नाउ कि आपकी कंपनी का मेन बिजनेस लॉजिस्टिक रिलेटेड एपीआई प्रोवाइड करना है करेक्ट यस फाइन ठीक है सो वही मैं बोल रहा हूँ फॉर एवरीवन हियर द थिंग इज यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन योर प्रोजेक्ट इन अ इन अ वेरी सिंपल वे और एग्जैक्ट चीज बताना है नहीं तो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट uh, क्वेश्चन है ये क्वेश्चन आपका इंटरव्यू अच्छा भी कर सकता है और खराब भी कर सकता है क्योंकि फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन रहेगा कि एक्चुअली आपका प्रोजेक्ट क्या है अगर एक टेस्ट इंजीनियर को नहीं पता है तो वो इश्यू क्रिएट होगी फाइन ठीक है फाइन 
फाइन और आप क्या करते हो उसमें वो भी एक्सप्लेन करना बहुत जरूरी है कि एक्चुअल में सो वेन समबड़ी आस सो वट वुड बी द गुड आंसर इफ समबड़ी आस वॉट यू डू सो एक्चुअली यू शुड एक्सप्लेन दैट ओके आई एम अ पार्ट ऑफ अ डेवलपमेंट टीम राइट वे आर वी आर वर्किंग इन ए जाइल लेट से मैथोडोलॉजीज एंड आई एम वर्किंग एज अ टेस्ट इंजीनियर सो माई रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज आर checking all the scenarios when we get the requirement we you know understand the requirement we analyze it my task is creating the test cases then executing those and if there are any uh, defect i report to it i i execute regression cases right take your time and give proper one by one you know real answers that will look more natural fine so it's good that you explained about team it was really good that okay there are some developers testers now the thing is you used a word tpm, TPM. right so don't take it as a negative feedback understand it from the interviewer's perspective right so don't use much abbreviations right so if you are saying it's a very small thing right but say it properly right so the thing is don't use like uh, there are pos who will do this thing there are sub smes who will do that thing right it it's it's a bit technical right different companies are using different kind of jargons right so tpm may be technical project manager something like this right so use the real world okay or sometimes people use there are there are sm sm csm or scrum master so it's it's not it's not good if you you should say scrum master exactly if you want to say scrum master if you want to say product owner say product owner not po okay okay fine this is for everyone we are just discussing okay what could be better now uh test scenario example was good you gave a good example that okay we create this this scenarios why testing is in, important so it was not a good answer what you provided right so okay. basically maybe the reason maybe i asked it very randomly right this <laughs> question may be my first question but tactically i asked this after two three question right so that i want to understand whether you can give random answers or not at a random time so thing is um your answer the the second half your answer wo, wo, was good like okay that customer needs quality and all right but don't start your answer with example like mobile companies and all right because the question was very simple why testing is important Right. so it, it it should be very simple i am not giving the exact answer as of now the thing is it should be very you know in a simplest way you can present that right? okay. okay testing is important because we cannot deliver something which is not tested right simple thing so the thing is it's not good to deliver something in the market or provide something uh, to the customer which is not well tested right which is not validated right so whenever customer is providing us the requirement developers are developing something related to code and then this is our task that we should test it well we should test in different ways so that we will deliver a quality product right so very simple one then you can give some example that okay in this way a customer is expecting a small quality something like this fine yeah fine okay then what you do once you get a once you get a new build it was a good answer you described it very well that you will be doing some smoke check and then you will accept it or you will deny it that was good now i asked like what you do once you see a deviation from expected behavior so now you were saying okay you will raise a defect and all it was good but i didn't ask a cross question that time because i want to continue with the interview but let's understand for everyone here and i want to discuss with everyone 
do you think anybody here can answer also like the thing is do you think rca is purely a tester's job finding the root cause analysis is tester's task and uh, tester's yeah. job uh, uh, it is. Yeah. yeah go ahead yeah it's not a purely tester job so tester can work with developer for find the rca yeah. For root, uh, find any root. Developers uh, do the uh, business project to they did some implementation and they develop the code. But testers have multiple scenarios for uh, multiple test cases for one scenario. Yeah. So we need to check in which test case uh, scenarios means uh, this is a user point of view. He is performing one action, but as a test cases, we rely on return steps and action data and whatever test data we are using and in which steps or which test data this will be getting filled that we need to identify so we need to test first uh, identify in which scenario or in which test case uh, that is getting filled so after that uh, developers can check that rca okay okay great great so the thing is so just to add on to yeah yeah please go ahead so just to add on to that, uh, like definitely RC is something which is mostly done with the uh, discussion with the dev team as well as if any PU, uh, product owner or the business analyst is there because uh, it actually tells us what had gone wrong due to which that particular defect was uh, created in the system. So it can be either so most of these uh, tools which we use DevOps or HPQC, they always have this field where you have to log in the RCA. So it can be code or it can be document issue because the FSD was not updated. So such kind of things. So sometimes even uh, companies follow this uh, fishbone analysis or something to fill the RCA template and based on that, the RCA will be populated. Super. Yes, yes, yes. I was going into that part. So the thing is different companies are following different approach, right? So the thing is sometimes we think whatever our company is doing is the best QA process and whether generally it, it may not be the right case, right? So there are a lot of companies who are following what I say, bad practices, right? I, I know it looks odd, but it may happen that some companies are doing RCA in different ways. Some companies are doing different RCA in different ways. But let's understand logically what Siddharth was saying is superb accurately. The thing is, you are finding the root cause. You just found the defect. How you can, as a test engineer, can find the RCA then and there? It's not possible, right? Understand it. RCA means root cause can be anything maybe related to a particular code is missed maybe related to an older build which is causing now or some old functionality is causing that thing maybe uh, there is a miss in the requirement side maybe there is a miss from the ui structure uh, is not provided properly rca can be anything it is not always about the code there can be requirement miss, there can be some performance issue, anything. Maybe you are getting a defect today because now there are a lot of customers. So I'll give you an example. So you are testing a system, you test it. When there are hundred users, you create the user and you're checking whether profile is created or not. Okay, I'm giving a very simple example. Your scenario is create a user profile and check user profile means the address, picture, is showing properly or not so you create 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 first build second build for the last six months you are doing the same thing you are creating the user profile and checking it right as a regression case you are doing it or maybe with a new feature you are testing it but now you reach a condition where when you create a user profile you are seeing the server error or some error is coming right it is not providing with a good detail right so reason can be anything it's not because of the new feature. It may be because now your database is full or a server capability such that, that you create it, but you know, it is not able to handle it. I'm giving just a random simple example, right? So RCA, finding the RCA, tester cannot, you know, use or waste their time when you are actually doing the testing. Your real job is finding the, you know, 
uh, different scenarios, if there is a bug, report them. RCA will be done with the developers. So the thing is, you should present, okay, this particular defect is coming now. You can report it to dev. They will be the best person to find where is the root cause, what was the reason. And then if you have doubt, you discuss with them. If you think that no RCA can be different also, if you have done your own research also, that's good. That's good. So you can talk with BAs also if there is a requirement place or something, right? But the question is when RCA should happen? That is again a question. So RCA will happen once you report the bug. Now, when everyone knows all the stakeholders, whoever is related to that feature, that okay, there is some defect has come. So it's everyone's responsibility or whoever is you know responsible for that particular feature they knows very well where was the miss right whether it was a code or something so it's a very honest job to put okay what was the root cause analysis and generally it's a drop down values and some companies do the description also okay the proper one or two liner of what was the root cause right now, so reason finding is not purely tester's job that I wanted to say. Another thing is just a feedback, right? It's, it's in general, it's a non-tech part, not the technical part. So thing is, whenever you are providing your answer, be gender neutral. So for example, I can present, let's say um, the question is, who is a scrum master? What they do? Let's say this is the question. So one way of answering is um, a scrum master is who, who handles all the um, meetings. His work is to um, check all the meetings day to day. And his task is to uh, collaborate with the team members, uh, check the velocity so that he can present the report to the project manager, right? So I have used the word he's, he every time, which is not good, right? So whenever you are saying his, he, anything or she, be gender neutral. Gender neutral means use the word he or she. It's like this. So so my, my proper answer would be like, uh, a scrum master is a person who can do this thing Right, so it will come with the practice, you know. Um, so gender neutral talk is like, um, like use the word he or she more. It's like this, right? Don't use too much he or she, right? Or don't use it at all, actually, right? So whenever you're talking about the third person, be it's better to you he's he or she, okay? Fine. And how you perform API testing? Great, you provided that, okay, I'm using Postman tool and all. Um, but when you when somebody is asking uh, how you are performing API testing, right? Describe about the requirement also, right? How you are getting the requirement of the APIs, right? So generally talk about the manuals, user manuals, or if you have Swagger document, right? Those kind of things. Can you automate using Postman? Yes, so the answer was good. Partially we can automate, it's a good answer. What language we use in test dev? It's basically JavaScript, okay? Difference between post and put? Your answer was good, right? But don't be, don't be in hurry, right? So this question, you can take your time, right? So it's not like that you have to present yourself then and there, right? So if somebody is asking, you can repeat the question also. So for example, if somebody is asking, what is the difference between post and put? Okay, so you can answer it, okay. So the difference between post and put, when we use an API testing, so this is the tactic I'm saying. So the thing is, when you answer it slowly, back of your mind, you can frame the next sentence. Back of your mind, you can remember what you want to say, right? So the thing is, you can answer in this way, like, okay, the difference between post and put when we do API testing is whenever we want to create a new resource, we use post method. And put is generally used in like updating uh, 
a record, right? Something like this. My answer may be not correct, but when you give the answer in slow way, it looks more mature. It looks like, okay, you are thinking, processing and saying something, um, you know, correctly, whatever you have done, right? Whereas when you give the answer in a hurry, it looks like that you remember something and you want to try hard to remember and then you want to give the answer, right? It's not the case with you. I'm just saying what would be the better way, okay? Fine. Product deployment text. Okay, I asked the question about how your product develop deployment happens. Now, this question is very important. This shows that whether you understand what is happening around you, how your product is deployed, where it is deployed. So it's good as a test engineer, we should know what we are doing as a UI technology, what we are using, whether you are using React JS, Angular JS, whether we are using, you know, what is the backend technology, what are the database we are using, and then you can say, okay, we are using Jenkins for the deployment purpose or the build purpose, and then um, we have a DevOps team who is responsible for the deployment, and uh, um, we are using AWS, uh, you know, services for the hosting part, something like this, if you know. So it's better. As a test engineer, we should know about all these things and be ready for this kind of questions also. Difference between primary key and foreign key. Um, generally, your, your answer may be correct, but the thing is, first you should define it, what, what it is, right? So basically, primary key is a single or set of keys or the combination of Keys. Keys means here the column name, which we can use to identify the record uniquely. Right? I'm not saying we should present the bookish definition, but somehow, you know, this is near to the right answer. Right? And then you can describe foreign key. So basically, foreign key is used to um, the referential integrity between two tables, right? Where you can connect one of the column from first table to the second column. So to the second table where a particular column can be a primary key and the same column can be the foreign key in the, in the first table, something like this, right? So when you, when you answer this like this, right, practically, so the interviewer will get impressed. Okay, you know this thing, basic things you know, right? Then give your answers, examples and all, right? So when you present, when you are using and why you are using, the interviewer will be impressed, right? Care and where care data is a very basic question. Read about it. I'm not presenting what is the answer as of now. Read about it. It's a very simple thing, right? Um, that's it, I think, for today. Let's discuss if you have anything to discuss now.